Hey you guys, this is Matt McCoy with loopcommunity.com. I'm here to show you how to use lyric track videos in your worship set. So if you go to a song page on our website, on the right hand side of the screen you might see a blue icon that says lyric track video. If you click that, it's going to bring up a preview of the product. Let's check it out now. So a lyric track video is a video that has lyrics on it um, that are set with motion graphics. And there's a click and a cue panned left so that your band can follow along. And then tracks panned right to enhance the sound of your band. And what's really cool about these videos is that you can use them standalone, meaning you could just open up the video file and play along. Or you could put them in ProPresenter or any sort of video presentation software. Or you could bring them into Ableton Live to line them up with multi-tracks and other songs from your set. I'm going to show you how to use Ableton Live with these videos now. So to get started, you just have to click this Buy Video Track button to go ahead and download the video track to your computer. And once you have that, let's go ahead and look at Ableton Live. I have a little folder here for Lyric videos, and um, you'll notice that the video track file is an MP4. And in Arrangement View, I'm just going to click and drag and drop this video file into Arrangement View. And it brought up the video window. Let's go ahead and hit play so you can hear what this sounds like. It made an audio track. Intro. Two, click and cue your panned left. Four. Track is panned right. Two, now, three, my band four. and I could go ahead and just start playing along with this. As long as your audio settings are set correctly, where I've got my output right now to one and two, one being left and two being right of my headphone jack. So the click and cues are panned and the tracks are panned. So we could go ahead and play along with this as it is and it would work great. But let's just say you also want to maybe customize these tracks and you want to use them along with multi-tracks. So if you download multi-tracks from our website, if you go to master tracks and click this multi-track product, you then can bring in those multi-track stems into Ableton Live and customize it. So right here I have the multi-track stems and I'm going to go ahead and drag in the click file. I'm going to drag in the cue file. And then for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to just drag in all of the different multi-track instruments. Okay, so it made a bunch of tracks for all my different instruments. You can resize this video window if you'd like. What I would recommend is taking this video window and moving it onto a secondary monitor. And that's what's going to go up on the screen behind you as you're playing through your set. All right, then what we're going to do is, since I'm using these multi-tracks now, we don't need the audio from the video. So I'm just going to click on the mute button. And make sure that the tempo in Ableton Live is correct. So I have it at 100. You could turn on the Ableton click as well if you want. And let's hit play so you can check it out. Intro. Two, three, four. So now the video is playing along with the multi-track stems. Verse two, three, four. Pre-chorus. Two, three, four. Chorus. Two, three, four. Chorus. Two, three, four. 